Hey, Coach Paige from Premier Fitness Systems. Here's four great drills that you can do at home anytime with minimal equipment to increase your foot strength. It can even help alleviate flat foot and or deal with plantar fasciitis. So the first drill is a disassociation drill. So what we're gonna do is work on um, some toe flexion and extension. So what you're gonna do is try to keep your four lateral toes down and see if you can pick up your big toe off the floor. Pick it up, put it down. Pick it up, put it down. Do that for about 10 repetitions, and on the last one, try to hold it up for about 10 seconds. Okay, if you can't do that, one thing you can do is you can either hold the lateral toes down, so these last four small toes, you can just hold them down and be able to do that. Some people find it even like trying to mimic the movement with their hands can help as well too. Or you can have an object like a box and press your toe against the box or your lateral four toes against the box or an edge of something and then be able to separate by pushing the big toe down. <laughs> and lifting back up. So toe separation and disassociation. The second drill that you can do is work on um, adduction. So one of the things your feet should be able to do is you should be able to squeeze all of your toes together without going into a flexion. So you don't want that deep flexion. So I'm not very good at this one. So what I'm gonna do is put a pin in between and see if I can squeeze the, the pen with my small toes. and my big toe. So working on trying to squeeze it. Now the pin itself shouldn't really change directions or bend in one way, so it shouldn't move. Um, again, I'm having trouble bringing my toes together and squeezing them together, okay? Another drill is um, abduction, so spreading away, so moving them apart. So trying to spread open the toes, move the big toe away from the small toe, or spread the little toes away from one another. So spreading them out. Okay. The last one is you can also work on strengthening it. So if I put a towel down I can work on using my toes just like hands to grab the object. Again, you can work independently. You can try doing it just with the big toe, which again, these drills I'm still working on myself, or even trying to just grab with the small toes. Okay. Again, you can do this with a ball. You want to keep your heel down and then pushing over that surface or grabbing globally with all four or all five toes can also help. Again, the goal here is to increase the mobility of your feet, being able to move the toes individually will then allow you to work on even like what's called a short foot drill, where you actually can stand, spread your toes apart, and relay them all down into the floor, and practice pushing into the ground and grabbing the floor. Okay, what this does is this is going to help you um, create stability through your foot, which helps you with balance exercises, as well as strength exercises, and definitely with your power moves as well too. Hey there, Coach Paige from Premier Fitness Systems in North Scottsdale. Um, this video is dedicated towards um, showing you a few drills that you can use to increase your strength in your feet, therefore actually increasing the strength throughout the rest of your body. So one of the things that we do at Premier Fitness Systems is encourage a lot of our um, athletes and clients to work out in their bare feet. You know, and I think a lot of people um, are either confused about this concept, maybe maybe they've never done it before, so they're 
this might even help you even clear up um, some questions you might have surrounding like why should I work out without my shoes on. Uh, two things to keep in mind, I'm definitely not saying that you should be running or doing any sort of high impact stuff without shoes. Proper footwear is required, especially depending on the person for that kind of thing. But when it comes to strength training, working on mobility or stability, doing isometric drills, or even doing heavy deadlifts or things of that nature, um, it actually can be very beneficial to remove your shoes. One of the biggest things we are starting to understand, just like sitting, is a repetitive movement or something that our bodies are becoming accustomed to. Therefore, other things are happening in our body, things are breaking down, things aren't working like they're supposed to, because we're just not acting like humans, which is meant to be on two feet. And so by wearing shoes all the time and constantly being in footwear, even people that are very used to um, using wearing something like Birkenstocks, which doesn't have a lot of like flexibility, you know, it's not like a tennis shoe that kind of has a little bit of cushion and more malleability. Um, it's a very rigid surface. Um, these people themselves are actually seeing um, some issues. And I've worked with many clients um, that they just cannot do lunges and it's not because their legs or their hips or any of these other musculature can't. I mean, it, they, they can essentially, but really what's happening is they have poor toe flexion and they have some atrophy in their feet. Um, and that's always been a challenging working with them. So here are some uh, great drills that you can do um, on your own at home that require minimal equipment. In fact, the only thing you'll probably need is maybe a golf ball or a tennis ball. So any sort of ball or even like a small towel and a pen or a pencil. 